Britain's world heavyweight title, but already there's another challenger from the same East End fight stable, Gary Mason, ready to follow Big Frank on the road to a personal fortune. Dig in there, come on! Gary's trainer is Frank Black, who'll be in Bruno's corner in Las Vegas next month and has handled world champions in the past like Charlie Magri and Lloyd Hunnigan. Gary Mason is probably, uh, in all my years in boxing, uh, Gary's probably one of the best heavyweight prospects I've seen. You know, in all my years in boxing. And uh, I think can go all the way to the top. Gary's latest victory came in November. And the towels come in for the American corner. Where Gary already differs from his rivals is that after his first workout, he goes to his other job, running a jewellery shop in Gillingham. There are times where you do get injured and you don't fight for months and months, and if you don't fight, you don't get an income. And um, so many times you've seen fighters go to ruin, or most sports people, they don't actually do anything or take advantage of their name while they're active. They wait till afterwards, but when you're finished, nobody's interested. So I thought I'd take advantage of it while I'm active and hopefully it'll keep the umbrella of my head while for rainy days. Unusually, Gary has moved to Kent from Wandsworth. The reason why I moved out of South London to come down here was um, two reasons. The price of property originally, and um, then when, where you grow up, you've got all the, the people who are going to distract you from what you're doing. And I'm a committed fighter, and I have to have as, as much concentration as I can, so moving out here was one of the reasons for that. And have you got the application? I mean, in the past, have you felt that you might not have applied yourself? But um, the, the only reason why I might not have applied myself was before, because I didn't have the inspiration. Obviously, I was getting fights and I was winning, but you need a, a target, or someone like me, I need a target at the end of it. And um, my target was blurred, because Frank was always there, and he still had further to go. So that sort of, like, it took the enthusiasm out of it for me. But now I can see that things are happening, and I can see a future ahead for me. So that's given me all the inspiration I need. By two o'clock, Gary was to be in Canning Town for his daily session in the boxing gymnasium. So, by ten, it was time for breakfast at the grandly named Golden Grill restaurant. And for a heavyweight champion in the making, a specially prepared meal of chicken and salad. After all, for a champion in the making, nothing can be too much trouble. I'm hungry, but I've got to go on to Bisham Abbey to meet Alan Wells.